As many of you know, we recently finished up our 13 part series on water meter sizing, selection, and installation. Over four episodes, we reviewed the common metering types, including disc, turbine, compound, and ultrasonic meters. However, a follower of the show reached out to us this week and asked if we could provide some insight into fire service meters. Well, to add on to this series, in part 14, we'll take a deep dive into how fire service meters work, how they're selected, and what are some of the available options for these types of meters. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the Smart Water Show, brought to you by Badger Meter. I'm your host, Maurice Blackwell, and this is the show where we discuss your everyday water utility problems and find the most effective technology solutions for you. Stay tuned for our question of the day at the end of this video to enter our weekly giveaway. Let's take a look at a fire series meter application. In this application, we are selecting a meter for a commercial and industrial building with a fire suppression system. In this application, you have two service lines coming off the distribution line. One line is for the everyday potable water use. The second line is dedicated specifically for emergency fire suppression. On the potable water line, you should select a meter that meets the everyday uses needs of the customer using the same simple seven step process that we laid out in the sizing and selection series. You can choose a turbine, a compound, an ultrasonic, or even a disc meter if it fits the application. When it comes to selecting a meter for the emergency fire suppression, in this case, a fire series meter best fits the application. The fire series meter is designed to measure high volume usage, such as when a building's fire suppression system is activated through this single water supply line. It operates just like a standard turbine meter with a strainer. The fire series meter should be sized using the same logic we discussed in the sizing and selection series. The building's fire suppression system was designed with a certain maximum flow rate capability in mind. Select the fire series meter that will meet this application. The fire series meter consists of an oversized strainer that has a surface area of at least eight times the meter bore diameter. Some meters require even larger strainers. The high flow seen when the fire suppression system is activated will definitely drag any and all debris sitting at the bottom of the water main toward the meter. Therefore, the strainer is designed to protect the turbine measuring element from failure due to rocks, pipe scale, and general debris. The size is to ensure that when the strainer is one quarter clogged, it still is able to pass adequate water flow and pressure if a fire were to occur. Both the strainer and the turbine meter are UL listed and FM approved for fire service applications. The standard requires that all fire service meters and strainers are tested and shipped together. Let's move on to a fire series assembly application. A fire series assembly meter is used when a commercial or industrial building has a fire suppression system and is served by only one service line coming off the distribution main for both everyday potable water use as well as emergency fire suppression. The fire series assemblies consist of the same oversized strainer and cast iron mainline turbine series meter found in the previously discussed fire series meter. In addition, there's a check valve in the main line and a bypass configuration with a choice of a two inch bronze turbine series meter or a disc series meter. There's also a check valve included. Think of these meters as oversized compound meters. The main line turbine meter to capture the day to day and fire suppression high flow conditions and the bypass meter to capture the day to day low flows. The check valve acts as a crossover valve to separate high flow conditions from low flow conditions. The turbine side of the meter is offered in 4 inch through 12 inch sizes and are UL and FM approved. Again, the fire series assembly should be sized with the same logic we discussed in the sizing and selection series regarding compound meters. If you have any questions about today's topic on fire service meters, 
feel free to ask a question in the comment section below and I will personally provide you with an answer. Or if you'd rather send a private message or have any questions related to metering or meter reading systems that I can help you with, feel free to connect with me here on LinkedIn. Our question of the day, what other aspects of meter sizing, selection, and installation do you want to know more about? Please provide a reply in the comment section below. Be one of the first 10 people to reply to be entered into our weekly Smart Water Show giveaway. If you found value in this content, be sure to click the like button, or if you have a colleague that would benefit from listening to this episode on fire service meters, please be sure to share with them by clicking the share button. We'd like to thank you for watching this video, and we'll catch you next time on the Smart Water Show.